Welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading this lovely book by request, but because Miss Pam struggled a little bit with some of the dinosaur names, we have a guest reader. All right, Mr. Guest Reader, take it away. Who's Afraid of Godzilla by D. Kaiju, illustrated by Bob Eggleton. Who's Afraid of Godzilla by D. Kaiju, illustrated by Bob Eggleton. Monster Island was the home of all of the Earth's giant monsters, and every day the monsters played on the island's sunny beach. Gigon and Megalon wrestled, and Guiris chased Varen's tail. Manda swam in the ocean, and Rodan flew in circles high above the sand. But not all of the monsters played together. One monster sat alone. From the top of the island's tallest volcano, Godzilla watched the other monsters play. He wanted to join in the fun, but he knew they didn't want to play with him. Godzilla was the biggest, strongest, and toughest of all the monsters. Because he was so powerful, the, other mon the others were afraid of him. They always ran away when he came near. One day, the monsters were having so much fun that Godzilla couldn't stop himself. He just had to join them. He jumped to his feet and ran down the side of the volcano, roaring with excitement. His howls echoed across Monster Island, shaking the palm trees and frightening the birds that lived in them. Here comes Godzilla, Anguirus cried. Run, Varen bellowed as he spread his arms and legs and took off into the sky. Manda hissed a warning, then ducked beneath the waves. Baragon dug a hole and jumped inside. Gigon and Megalon stopped wrestling and ran into the jungle to hide. By the time Godzilla got to the beach, the monsters were gone. All I wanted to do was play with them, Godzilla cried angrily. He stomped his foot and roared, If I can't make friends on Monster Island, then I'll go somewhere else. Godzilla jumped into the ocean and disappeared beneath the waves. When the other monsters returned to the beach, they wondered where Godzilla was going. Some of them felt bad because he was leaving, but a few were happy, especially Gigon and Megalon. Now they were the toughest monsters on Monster Island. For a long time, Godzilla swam through the ocean. Finally, in the distance, he saw a great ship. Will you be my friend? Godzilla called to the ship, filling the air with his mighty roar. On the deck of the ship, the passengers and crew heard Godzilla's roar. They cried out in panic and ran for the lifeboats. Godzilla is coming, they shouted. Godzilla saw that the people on the boat were afraid of him too, just like the monsters on Monster Island. With a sigh, Godzilla swam sadly away. Godzilla swam and swam through the ocean waves. Finally, he came to a great city filled with tall skyscrapers and lots of people. Maybe he would find a friend here. But when Godzilla climbed onto the shore, sirens began to blare. Tanks and airplanes came to chase him away. He howled in surprise as cannons were fired at him. The weapons could not hurt the mighty Godzilla, but he knew he was not wanted. So he turned and headed back into the ocean. Godzilla swam underwater for many days, searching for a place where he could find a friend. He saw whales and sharks and octopuses and even a giant squid. But, like the monsters on Monster Island, the creatures of the ocean depths were afraid of him. Finally, Godzilla arrived on, in a land with many different animals. Big ones and small ones, elephants, giraffes, and zebras. I'm sure to find a friend here, Godzilla growled excitedly, but when he came ashore, all the animals ran away in a dusty stampede. Once again, Godzilla was alone. He blinked. Was it the dust that made his eyes fill with tears? As he turned to go, Godzilla realized he would never find a friend. With a heavy heart, he returned to Monster Island. Meanwhile, back on Monster Island, Megalon and Gigon had taken over Godzilla's old ledge on top of the volcano, and the two big monsters began to bully the others. Gigon 
frightened Varan into the sky. Megalon chased Manda to the far side of the island. Rodan flew away, and Baragon was so afraid that he burrowed underground and would not come out of his hole. And Guiris was the only monster who didn't, who didn't run away. It's not right, he screeched angrily. Things were better when Godzilla was here. At least Jigon and Megalon behaved bravely, and Guiris climbed up the volcano to confront the, bo uh, the bullies. But when he got to the top, Jigon and Megalon pushed poor Anguirus into the volcano's crater. The pit was so deep that he could not get out, and Anguirus was trapped. Suddenly, a mighty roar made Jigon and Megalon jump in surprise. Godzilla is back, Jigon yelped in fear as the king of the monsters charged up the hill. The two bullies ran down the other side of the volcano and hid in the jungle. Help! Anguirus cried to Godzilla. I'm trapped! All the other monsters heard Anguirus calling. With dread, they wondered what Godzilla was going to do to poor Anguirus. <clears throat> to everyone's surprise, Godzilla stood quietly for a moment. Then he threw his long tail over the edge of the crater for Anguirus to grab. Hold on tight! Godzilla cried. His muscles bulged as he dragged Anguirus out of the crater and set him down on the ledge. Anguirus had never before been this close to the mighty king of the monsters. He had always run away with the others when Godzilla came near. But Anguirus decided that Godzilla wasn't so scary after all. Are you alright? Godzilla growled. Yes, Anguirus replied. Now that I have a big, strong friend like you to help me out of trouble. From then on, the other monsters played with Godzilla, and Guiris even asked Godzilla to wrestle. When Jagon and Megalon crept out of the jungle, they gasped, And Guiris, aren't you afraid? Nah, he replied. Who's afraid of Godzilla? The end. Well, thank you. Big shout out to Sean's daddy for reading Who's Afraid of Godzilla on Miss Pam Reads.